Good morning, everybody. Hair is starting to look like reasonably normal hair. Still quite a lot of dreads in here, as you can see. But they're all started to be combed out. It gets to a point where I physically can't reach them and see them very easily to see where the knot's next knot is. So then they kind of go onto Bean's uh, jurisdiction. Um, yeah. It's looking nice though. I'm still balding at the top though. I mean, I'm still really thin up here. But uh, I don't know what I'm going to do when I get it all out, but we'll see. I don't know. So I got out with the boys before Dad comes over today. Also mowed the lawn already, hung some washing out, and uh, planned lunch. Doing really well today, and it's only uh, probably just coming up half ten now. So yeah, really good day so far. Hope it stays that way. So that's the pool church, and then. Beyond that is the Sea of Mount Bay and all that shiz. Here's the beautiful, it's this beautiful wild meadow right near our house. It's the uh, heliport helicopter coming in, noisy old thing. Is that where we're going? Hmm? Let's go then. And pull. Come on, out. Out, come on. Let's go. Toby, come on. Oh, that's Mattel's all football club. Or football ground. We're out on the uh, yeah, really well maintained road that leads up to it. I am going to go and watch a game of football there, because I've never watched a game of football, and Ali would love it. Beautiful cows. Lovely cows. Super loud helicopter. Right over. You never finished that thing. Your mum sent sent it on, sent them, already sent them and that on. So we're having a bit of a redesign. This is our old cold frame thing, and this is the cold frame area. It basically takes up two beds worth of space. So instead of having two beds worth of space taken up with a cold frame, we're going to turn it into two beds, um, or maybe hmm, maybe one big bed. So we've taken the panels out, one window out already, this window out. This one we're going to turn into a bird bath. I'm going to spray paint that glass black and attach it to the top of the pillar here so our little birds that live around here can still come around. And I'm going to chop this off of here, this bottom bit, and then chop through here and hopefully rescue that panel of glass and its surround to be able to use elsewhere. But well, we shall see. So after a lot of sweating and a lot of sawing, we've got our two pieces. So they will make a front piece and a top piece to sit on this table. 
So I need to make a frame for the size. Oh, that lovely. Some odd plants, some dead plants. Sort out in there. Bits of the frame I need to pick up and tidy up. Now we should have, under here, a nice lot of soil to plant out. Let's peel that up in a minute. There we are, whole area. Pretty much killed off the grass, it's been there a good half year, maybe. Growing stuff in it. It's ready to dig. Putting some planks. Got ourselves another bed. Perfect. If you're not keen on feet, look away now. So, these are my feet. <laughs> I've been gardening today and doing things in the garden. Can you tell? You think the tops are bad with my strange square sunburn patch? Look at the bottoms. Look at that. One man meant to move, went to be a hobo. Hello, Fix. Another lovely day in the garden. And uh, the feet to show it, as you can see. And. I've come in and gone on the old YouTube, which is my form of vegetating. And I've been looking at different things and I've been trying to view the world from different angles. And try and learn and educate and... Um, myself in many different fields of things and try and see sense and rational thinking is what I like to do and I try so I look at lots of facts and then make a rational judgment about them don't rush to snap decisions and don't go and get riled up by the first thing I see about a thing and then make my own decision about something as an individual and try and make sense of the world that way around. Now some of that has been taking me down more right wing what would be seen as right wing roots at the moment so um, because they're not the left but leftist as it's now being called um, movements have got a lot of airtime at the moment due to very many different things LGBT trans stuff uh, Black Lives Matter grievance studies that kind of stuff has gone uh, I've been trying to see the other side of it now I always thought I was quite a left person really I thought I was kind of like for everybody's rights and um, you know I hated anyone that was really being oppressed which was always the kind of image that you'd get of right wing folk and um, it's now the other way at the moment. A lot of people who speak or have right-wing views are getting cancelled. A lot of left-wing people are being left well alone. And there's a whole crazy world going on out there with in terms of political stuff, medical stuff, and just outright craziness. So because of that, today I got recommended a video from Nigel Farage. Now, I was never one to want to leave Europe, really. Uh, I was never one to go in for Brexit, and I never was a UKIP supporter. And um don't like the idea 
I didn't like the idea of what I thought it represented. Um, I thought it was basically a screen for racism, a political face for um, people to be unjustifiably racist and push people out of countries etc. Now I've come to learn that that's not entirely true. Again there's two sides to every situation and some good things and some bad things are said by both sides. But I find Nigel Farage the most horrible, annoying, half guppy man in the world. Now, that kind of scared me that I'd gone that far to start getting recommended videos in that vein. So, I am now unsubscribing and I'm not interesting in this video to anything remotely political on YouTube. So it was my only source of news and it's fripped me out so much that um, yeah I no longer want to even casually peruse the news via that mode of listening. I'm just going to go back to being just me, cut off from the world and ignorant and happy. Yeah, sorry. Sorry for being ignorant. Ignorance is bliss.